In the last video, I connected from my Windows desktop to my Linux Mint computer running here in a virtual machine. I connected to it using Remote Desktop. This time, I'm going to connect with Remote Desktop, except I'm going to try to send the connection through an SSH port tunnel. Now to do this, I'll need to go into Mint, and I'll need to reconfigure XRDP slightly. So I'll start up Nano with line numbering, and I'll go to the xrdp.ini file in root etc xrdp xrdp.ini. So we'll open that up and I'll change address equals 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 to 127.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. Control X, Y, enter to save it. And now I'll also restart my service. So sudo service xrdp restart to restart the service. And I'll also restart SSH. Okay, and then I'm going to kill the X tight VNC service or the program rather, and then I'll start it up again. So I'll launch tight VNC server. Okay, tight VNC server has launched. Let's take a look and see if we're listening with all those necessary services. Netstat dash L V P pipe to more. And you can see that I'm listening on port 5901 X tight VNC X 11 dash one here X tight VNC. There's SSH the SSH server and there's port 3389 X RDP. Okay. So now all I need to do is go over to my windows computer. And let's start by launching an SSH port tunnel. To do this, you just fire up PuTTY, put in the IP address that you want to connect to. So I'll put in the IP address of my Linux Mint machine at 192.168.3.152, port 22, SSH. Except this time, I'll go into the SSH settings and down to tunnels, and I'll set up a source port for the tunnel at port 5555. And at the destination, we want to go to localhost colon 3389, click add, and this sets up our tunnel settings. We need tunnel settings on the source. So source localhost at 5555, and at the destination, localhost 3389. I'll click open, log in as Dan, and put in my password. And so now the SSH port tunnel is open. All I need to do now is send protocol data through this port tunnel. So to do that, let's try to do it with remote desktop. I'll open up the remote desktop client at mstsc.exe, Microsoft Terminal Services Client. And I'll try to connect to myself localhost colon 5555 and press connect and you can see yes I want to do this connection I'll put in my username Dan and the password student and and there it goes I have a desktop connection to my Linux Mint computer through remote desktop, but it's actually being sent through an SSH port tunnel that I'm running here and that I put settings in for. So that's awesome. Let's open up a command prompt and take a look at that. I'll open up a command prompt, type netstat, slash a for all, pipe it to more. So 
So take a look at this. 192.168.3.87, port 1192, Dan's VM SSH connection established. Notice that 127.0.0.1, 5555, to port 1194, established. So you can see that the port 55 has been established and that I was listening, see it says listening here, at 127.0.0.1 myself, localhost, listening on port 5555 and I've got an established connection over 5555. So that's excellent. So now what we can do is, what I can do also is I'll close this, this connection with remote desktop and let's try to do it again, except this time we'll do it slightly differently. So I'll exit here. So this time what I'm going to do is, is in Linux, I'm going to install Apache web server. I'll do a sudo app-get install Apache2, put in my password. Okay, and we'll put in a serv uh, sudo service Apache 2 status, and you can see Apache 2 is running. So I'm running a web server right now on my Linux computer, and this time what I'll do is, is I'll go into PuTTY, connect to 192.168.3.152, my Linux computer, SSH, except this time I'll go to my SSH settings, go to tunnels, and I'll say source port 5555, and destination localhost colon send it up to port 80, which is the web server. I'll click add and open to open up the SSH port tunnel. Log in as Dan, put in my password, and there is the SSH port tunnel opened. Now all I need to do is, is open up Firefox. And now all I'll do is, is I'll, in the URL, I'll type localhost colon 5555 and press connect and there it is localhost colon 5555 put a port 80 request to myself on port 5555 where my SSH port tunnel is listening on source port 5555 it sent the web page request across the port tunnel over to the web server running on mint and as you can see, Apache 2, Ubuntu default page, this is the Apache 2 web server running on my Linux Mint virtual machine, sent to my Windows machine, encrypted through the port tunnel. So now I've sent two types of protocols across the port tunnel. I've sent remote desktop protocol and HTTP protocol request across the tunnel. I can send all kinds of protocol data across this SSH port tunnel encrypting the communications.